What's good, everybody, and welcome back to Soul Priority. I'm your man, Mo, and today, man, got a little topic I guess we could talk about real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? And today, man, I really want to talk to you guys about something that's been coming across YouTube and Instagram a whole lot. And I know I've been seeing it quite a bit. You know what I'm saying? It's about the Air Jordan 1. And has the Air Jordan 1 season, you know, come and gone or you know what i'm saying like are we done with that are we moving on to the fours or whatever however it go you know what i'm saying like where is the air jordan one at this point in time as great of a sneaker is you know as the air jordan one is will it ever go out in my personal opinion no the air jordan one has not went away at all it hasn't and you know to my knowledge the air jordan one is still one of the most if not the most popular shoe on the market now everybody know i've spoken this you know verbally before my uh favorite silhouette when it comes to the air jordan sneaker is the air jordan 5. fire red 5 which is my grail and of course you know um the air jordan one is behind that so with me, it's the Air Jordan 5. Well, hold on, let me let me correct that. It's the 5, then the 3, then the 4, then the 1. That's how my, you know, that's how my, that's how I categorize these uh, sneakers when it comes to my grail to, you know, the 1 or whatnot. But the Air Jordan 1 is like in my top 5. And again, to me, the Air Jordan 1 hasn't went anywhere. It's not going anywhere and to those of you guys that are i guess so to speak kind of like out of the loop you know what i'm saying as far as the air Jordan one go and when i mean like out of the loop y'all I'm, I'm gonna put this in perspective so my my um my resale and retail side understand the you know the the ua thinking that i have when it comes to this so i'm gonna make this you know quite plain and simple when it comes to the Air Jordan 1, I see both sides, okay? I see the retail side, I see the resale side, and then I see the UA side, okay? Now, for those of you that are only on this side, resale and retail, you guys are only seeing the numbers on this side meaning stock eggs and things of that nature. What is sitting in stores right now? These are the only numbers that you guys see or sneakers that you guys see or whatnot. Now, if you're like me and you see this and then you also see the UA side of things, you would know that the Jordan 1 ain't going nowhere. It's not because people like me that go back and get sneakers that I could not get at the time of release or like your, let's say your your Air Jordan uh, 1, the bread. Uh, I didn't get that one on the day of release. I didn't get the Chicago on the day of release. The, the, uh, and then, you know, they re-released it on 2015. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of sneakers and I can go on and on. You know what I'm saying? As, as far as the, as the as the Jordan 1 go because it's a ton of colorways and it's a lot of ones that I personally want for myself. You know what I'm saying? You got pine greens. I mean, it's a ton, ton of ones over there that are popular that we did not get a chance to get because either they were backdoored, they, you know, Nike didn't make enough at the time or it was just one of those things, man, where you just missed out. So, you know what I'm saying? Or a reseller just came in and just gobbled them all up. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the trophy room or, or you know, the 2015 uh, return of the Chicago or something like that. Or even now, the reimagine. We're watching history, re, you know, history repeat itself again. The Air Jordan reimagined, AKA lost and found. Bro, I have seen more sneakers on YouTube and on Instagram, so-called legit sneakers on Instagram and YouTube that people got already. I'm talking about, I'm seeing 30 and 40 pair on people at one time. You know what I'm saying? And people getting rid of them. And if you're a reseller, hey man, that's your business. That's your business. 
But as far as the Air Jordan 1 going anywhere, no, nah, bro. No, nah, it ain't going nowhere. You, you, you just looking at it from your side. You got to look at this thing collectively. Like, you know, I guess the people like me that wear re, I guess retail and UA. I see people posting what they got. And hey, man, I just got my, I just got my yellow toes. Hey, man, I just got my breads. Hey, man, I just got my Chicago's. Hey, man, I just got my Royals. Hey, man, I just got my Pine Greens. Hey, man, I got this. Hey, man, I got that. The Air Jordan 1 ain't going nowhere. So for y'all that's on Instagram or for y'all that's on YouTube, man, mark my words. The Air Jordan 1 ain't going nowhere. And the people that's talking about it's going somewhere or things have changed or whatnot, man, it's because either they resellers and they ain't selling them as much because now people aren't willing to pay. I think the Chicago, I think the um, 2015 uh, Chicago one, man, I want to say y'all, and y'all can get down in the comments below, but I think it's like 15, 1500. I think for my side 12, if I'm not mistaken. Now at the time of recording, I don't know. I may go back and put the, the actual cost or the resale price of it over here. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere over here. But I think it like 1500, man. You know what I'm saying? But a person like me in these days and times, and like I say, man, for the people over here at resale and only do retail, hey man, times are changing. Times are changing, man. We no longer have to worry about backdooring and backdoor prices and man y'all can backdoor all y'all want because at the end of the day i'm not gonna give you two thousand dollars or eighteen hundred for a lost and found or a reimagined i'm just gonna go right on over here to my side man and get it and then on the day of release i'm gonna definitely try for it definitely try for it but if i don't hit i'm not worried about it man i'm just gonna go over here to the ua side and i'm gonna get it and for those of you that want to know what the Lost and Found um, or AKA Real Magic and whatnot look like, man, y'all make sure y'all go over to my Instagram and check it out on Instagram. I even got it over on um, YouTube. It's a beautiful shoe. Um, I would get it, but like I said, man, half of my shoes. Now, man, I'm trying to rearrange the studio a little bit, man. Get some sneakers on the wall. I'm about to put some lights up and all that, man. I'm doing a whole lot. So, you know, flow too. So, Y'all be prepared to see some sneakers going up, some sneakers coming down, some boxes coming in, and the whole nine, man, we about to really do this thing. But I really want to come to you guys and let y'all know, man, the Air Jordan 1, it ain't going nowhere. And for those of you that posting these videos talking about sneakers are going down and declining and this and that, nah, man, they really not. We just moving away from over here to over here. Meaning from re resale, or retail if we can't get it over here to over here so the prices over here may go up and down like i always say man and resale ain't going nowhere only the customers are going other places man so as y'all continue to see these prices going down y'all gonna continue to see the sale of uas go up over here on this side and that's what's going on man and i thought i wanted to come to you guys and let y'all know man my youtubers my instagram people man stop watching these clowns talking about this is going up, this is going down, man. Y'all buy what y'all wanna buy. Put on your toe what you wanna put on your toe. This has been your boy Mo, and I'ma buy this thing, y'all. Gone.